Dear 21-year-old Sammy, right now, you're confused with life, and I'm here to tell you that it's okay to be confused. But don't let that confusion discourage you. You will be okay. You're battling thoughts about what you want to do, what needs to be done, and wanting to make your family proud. You won't admit it, but you're afraid of failure. Sometimes that fear holds you back, and you won't allow yourself to give it your all. Sometimes you even hope to fail, just because it's easier than pushing for success. You're afraid to be vulnerable, and are too scared to truly give it your all, because you believe that if you fail, then you simply aren't good enough. Your mask of pretending not to care, and not studying or working as hard as you should, is your shield from failure, because if you didn't try, then you didn't truly fail. Isn't that right? Man, if you only knew how wrong you really are, everyone fails. Today at 30 years old, you're still failing every single day and that scares you, but you no longer allow fear to hold you back from giving your all. You now really understand how short life can be and how precious our time really is. Right now, you're hanging out with the wrong crowd at times. Your family and friends are telling you to stay away from certain people, but you continue to rebel. Soon, you will learn on your own. As you try to move on, your friends will tell you that you've changed, and for some reason, you won't like hearing that. I promise that one day, you'll be thankful that you move forward and discover that change is a good thing. You'll also discover that, like it or not, your mother's usually right. You're in college now, and during your first week on campus, you go somewhere that you know you shouldn't be and have a gun put in your face. You see the silver barrel as it's pointed towards you, but for some reason, in that moment, all you can do is laugh. You're laughing to show that you're not afraid, even though you're really scared shitless. Yet, in the moment, as only you can do, you befriend the gunman and proceed to enjoy a night out with him and his crew. Your dumbass even got into the car with them and drove around drinking God knows what. Take this as a lesson and move forward, but thank the Lord that you're still alive. Jesus truly is your protector. In school, you're doing well, have a solid group of friends, you're contemplating law school. Right now, you have more free time on your hands than you'll ever have again in your life. Use this time to discover your true passions in life. Experiment with different career paths and find something that provides you with the ability to give back to those that are less fortunate. Do not become reliant on any one individual. Trust that regardless of the outcome, that you'll be okay. Failure is inevitable and change is scary, but trust me when I tell you that it will be okay. You're battling high blood pressure. Your perfect family life is getting ready to change. You're about to experience emotional pain that you can't even imagine today. You think being broken up with is bad? Just wait six years. That day will make any breakup seem like a celebration. I'll give you a glimpse of some positives. You'll go to law school, and you'll actually graduate with your law degree and your MBA in three years. You'll work full time while in school and find your dream job. From the outside looking in, your life will be amazing. But what's to come in six years? Let's start with four years from now. The day that your world gets turned upside down. This is the day that you receive a phone call from your crying mother to inform you that your dad was just diagnosed with stage four of cancer. It's only given five to 15 days to live. Your brain will shut down. Your body will go numb. You'll exhaust every single tear from your eyes. Your new friends at law school will quickly turn to family and try to comfort you. But in that moment, you won't hear anything. You'll feel as if the world is closing in on you. But I'm here to tell you that you're going to be okay. You will witness a display of strength that's unimaginable. Your father will fight and claw as he goes from one operating table to the next. You'll experience small victories feel as if you won the Super Bowl. You'll also experience tragic moments as the cancer spreads to his brain. You'll come to understand the expression, a roller coaster of emotions, and learn to thrive in a world of uncertainty. I can't lie to you. You're gonna feel helpless, confused, and question almost every aspect of life. There will be times where you have to be strong for your mother and sister and others where you cry yourself to sleep, alone in your room. There will be days 
where you pull your car over and weep uncontrollably because of just how helpless you feel. But one day, you'll realize that your father's strength is in you and you'll use his battle to help others. Six years from now, you'll experience the worst day of your life. So trust me when I tell you not to worry about the troubles you're currently facing and learn to live life to the fullest each day. On March 20th, 2017, you will lose your hero and watch your father take his last breath. You'll be sitting there on the bed and holding his hand. The room will start to spin. Your body will shut down. You won't know what to do other than walk in circles. You'll end up drinking an entire bottle of red wine that night and feel like complete shit the next day as you shop for a suit to wear at your father's funeral. It will take months for you to start to feel normal again. On the outside, you'll walk around with a smile on your face. Sammy, you will survive this dark period. Your life will never be the same, but you'll learn how to adapt to change. On that day, while holding your father's hand as he gasped for air, you'll make him two promises that you'll keep for the rest of your life. First, that you'll always be there to look after your mother and sister. And second, that no one will ever outwork you. You will make him proud. You'll take his wedding ring and you'll put it on your necklace as a constant reminder to your promise. You'll look at that ring every single morning, which will provide you with the strength and energy to get out of bed and work, even on days when you simply don't feel like doing much. You will use his strength combined with your mother's work ethic to achieve great things. You'll have sleepless nights that nobody ever knows about. You will travel the country and sleep in airports, cars, on floors and on benches. It won't matter because you have one goal, to outwork everybody. That is, after all, the promise that you made to your father. You'll also have countless conversations with your mother who will continue to push and support you. You will meet people from all over the world, work with some of the greatest athletes and people in history, and experience many failures along the way. You'll contemplate giving up, you'll struggle for money to pay your bills, and you'll have your power shut off because you are investing in your future, which makes the now extremely difficult. You'll also fly in private jets, be a part of some of the most memorable events in history, attend Super Bowls, and proudly help young individuals achieve their dreams. And that's an important trait that you took from your father. Dear 21-year-old Sammy, I know you aren't thinking of it now, but one day you'll look back and realize that the most important quality your father possessed was being there to support you. He was there for you anytime, any place, and it didn't matter what else was going on in his life. He would stop everything to be there for you. You'll adopt some of his traits without even knowing and strive to be a better individual every single day. Dear 21-year-old Sammy, I know it feels as if your life is moving fast, but trust me when I tell you that you haven't come close to even reaching the starting line yet. You're now 30 years old, and we're just getting started. <laughs>